After the war, I understand that you went back and uh, resumed at the bar. And I believe in those days you read with Robert Monaghan, yes. who was later to be appointed to the Supreme <coughs> Court bench and become Sir Robert Monaghan. Can you tell us a bit about Robert Monaghan? What was it like reading with him? Well, we were both very busy. In those days, a reader could take a brief from day one. And I found myself getting briefed pretty well in my first week. Rob was busy all the time. Uh, Most of the time I saw him at lunchtime. Lunch consisted of eight beers. And if I were in court in the afternoon, I had a great deal of problem going the distance. I didn't go that far to the gallon. And uh, Rob was um, a wonderful tutor, a man with a great sense of humour, a sound lawyer, a brilliant advocate, and I enjoyed his company very, very much. Where were his chambers? His chambers were in equity chambers, next door to Dr Cobble's chambers. And uh, Rob Monaghan mainly had a criminal practice, a jury practice, but he was a good lawyer. What about his style? Uh, In what ways did he serve as a role model for your own barristerial style? He said to me, Phil, get your facts right. Concentrate on your facts. He says, if you've got your facts right, anyone can have the law. And that was pretty wise advice. Any other pearls of wisdom that he imparted to you? Uh, Not that I can remember very much, but I particularly remember a time when he was a judge and uh, I was appearing before him in a libel action in Mildura. And the case went over the weekend. Well, rather than go back to town and return to Mildura, we both stayed up there over the weekend. During that time, a friend of mine who was a doctor offered me his launch to take a trip on the Murray fishing or do what I liked. So I asked Rob would he like to go fishing at the weekend. He said, yes, that'd be lovely. So uh, I took him aboard and we loaded on the boat probably a case of beer and he said to me you know the trouble about these fishing trips there's always some bastard who wants to fish and we had a pretty good run up the river with his associate Jimmy Edwards running the boat and I don't think either of us dangled a hook in the water but during the case during the running of the case at some stage reference was made to the case of Rex versus Foster and he tapped on his a top tapped with his pencil down below to his associate and he said get me that case of Foster's and Jimmy Edwards said to him your honor we drank it last night uh, but we had a lot of fun in those days appearing before judges with a sense of humor I don't think it happens the same way today. Just as a matter of interest, how many were at the bar in those days when we're talking just after the war? When I first went to the bar, there were fewer than a hundred. And we knew everybody. We met everybody regularly. Now, I'd be hard put to name three people at the bar because when I took silk in 1958, more than half the present bar weren't born. So I don't know them and they don't know me.